Now this demo I already have a certificate authority installed um, locally at this machine but I do want to add a server to my certificate authority. In order to do that I do install OpenSSL Well, it's already installed. Maybe I uh, create a new directory for my server. Uh, my server. Voila. Uh, what I want to do now is to create a key uh, for my server and then uh, s uh, sign it by my uh, certificate authority. So in order to use uh, uh, HTTPS server I have to sign it with my own uh, authority um, so I'm gonna write I'm going to generate a key SSL RSA my output is uh, local key um, gonna name it uh, with the name of my server which is called my domain local Oops, uh, and it's a key it's a private key it's a secret private key this is my own key uh, on my local machine if I want to um, sign it by my certificate authority then I do have to generate a certificate um, uh, request a signing request uh, so I do have to uh, generate this I can do this with the command open SSL uh, request a key a new key for moment for my domain domain with this key that I generated the output is a um, key request in fact so just for the name uh, to see that's my key my domain so local uh, point uh, certificate no or just a request rec like that uh, the subject I'm going to add uh, all the parameters otherwise I do have to um, provide them uh, one by one subject is uh, okay next line uh, country is Belgium uh, this is the uh, city the, the province and then the location is just the same the our province and uh, city is called uh, the same Antwerp the organization which is uh, KG and then the organizational unit that's the department I'm working in is uh, management information uh, then the name itself that which is the most important part of it because this name has to match with the name which uh, uh, everyone uh, uh, um, puts into the browser and this is the name from the real name from the domain uh, in the browser voila that's all then uh, I do if I look here uh, it's here then Oops. he made a request 
Okay. This is my secret uh, local key. This is my request to the certificate authority. Um, next step is to sign this. Eh? Normally, if this is uh, an, another server, I do have to copy it or send it to the provider, uh, uh, to the certificate authority, uh, who can sign this file. Um, but I'm on uh, the server itself, eh? so um, okay. For uh, say that I um, copy this file to the tem directory, rec. Rec. Let's say I'm on a new mas machine, another machine, and I copied it into the temp directory like this. Then I can call my easy RSA script. I'm going to my certificate authority, uh, which might be another server, eh? and this server does have to accept the uh, can accept the request like that. It's uh, easy RSA, and he does the first thing the certificate authority does is a, an import of the file uh, which is located in the temp now uh -huh. like that okay poof we error did I is there something wrong I then imports oh oh I forgot the name of my domain so I have to add the um, domain itself as a parameter. Huh? The, my real domain uh, is just a file name here. The first part, then the second part is the real domain. Domain local. Okay, like that. All right, successfully uh, imported, and then I can um, sign the request. So the sign is done with easier as a two easier as a uh, sign the request and I'm going to sign the server which is called my domain local voila Then uh, I have to review all the settings, the right domain, okay, confirm it, and I say yes, and it's uh, confirmed. I do have to add my key, if I do have a key, eh? my secret key for the thing. There, is, there are some uh, errors which are not yet fixed by um, OpenSSL, uh, which should be fixed. Um, but they're minor errors, they're just warnings, uh, uh, they don't care. We don't care about uh, those uh, features. So it's uh, uh, at this moment, the key is, uh, the certifi certificate is uh, generated and you can use it for your uh, web server. This, this, so this key is the public key used for the web server. The first key that we generated is the private key, which is an the private key is named key eh? my domain local key that's a private key and then you do have the public key those two keys you need for uh, the Apache uh, configuration okay so that's the way you have to generate a, a certificate for your own web server and um, I showed the way you have to um, sign the request by your own certificate authority